Hello and welcome to episode 12 of Idol on 100% Achievement Journey. In this episode, we'll do a few things. We'll make a wizard, we'll meet the developer, we'll create those bandage wraps, we'll kill a mini boss, and other things. Get a bunch of achievements. I want to show you how tedious it can be just to create a piece of equipment. The goal is not to complain or anything, it's just to share with you the experience I went through trying to make those bandage wraps. And if you're considering playing this game, I really recommend it. But sometimes there are events like this that are really uh, slowing you down. So here I ran out of weapon upgrade stones, so I decided to buy some more so I could upgrade those bandage wraps. Right? There's one more slot. Fail, fail. So I had no money. So what I had to do is go through each character to find one who has money. But first, I went to my journeyman and teleported him to the town, close to the chest, ready to receive his piece of equipment, which is an extremely important piece of equipment. Those wraps make a big difference, right? So here I find somebody who has money. He has to go to town, deposit the money in the chest. <laughs> All right, and then I'm gonna switch characters. Withdraw the money. I really wanted to share this with you. Then buy more tokens, hoping that this time it won't fail. I can't buy any more than this. That means I'm gonna have to wait for next day. If I fail, but I succeeded. Nice. Nice. Okay. But now I'm gonna put it in the chest. Right there. And we're gonna swap characters to the journeyman so we can finally get it. showing the stats but we're gonna look at it closer with a zoom in in a moment gonna find it and i wish there was an auto sword by the way in the chest and finally equip the gloves so you saw the whole process of making one piece of equipment for one character uh, i really wanted to show that to you um, but yeah i'm really happy to have those bandage wraps now my journeyman is really good really strong so this is my first tower defense try. It's not a mechanic I understand very well. There's so many things in this game. I already told you that in previous episodes. I'm gonna have to learn them one by one. So this is my first attempt. I made no research at all. I'm just trying it all for the first time. We're going to do a fast forward throughout the whole run. It's not that long anyways. And um, there are uh, Totems like this all over the world and uh, I'm going to learn what's the point of doing this worship thing. Um, they call it worship, the tower defense. And uh, when I know more about it, in a future episode, there will be a segment showing all the progress I made in tower defense and what it gives you. One thing is going to give me in a moment is a prayer, but I still don't have a wizard. I'm going to have a wizard a bit later in this episode. But yeah, I only have one tower, but through construction, you can make more types of towers. And that's... Uh, you can also skip ways for extra points, but I did another run after that off screen. And that's the last one I'm gonna die here. So I'm done. That was my first try on tower defense. Again, a few levels too, it's not bad. And then you can choose to worship as well, which gives you, how's it called? Forest souls. So I saw those forest souls required for crafting but I'm not sure what you can craft with them. I'll learn more later. 
Here I'm going to show you the very first time I clear Coliseum in the World 1. It's not a big deal to do this, but and in fact, I probably could have done it earlier than this, but because it's the first time I do it, I decided to show you the entire fight. I almost cleared it a while ago and I reached the minibus and I was not able to kill the minibus, but this time I'll be able to. And I'm starting to think that I could probably clear the Coliseum in World 2 as well as we speak because I did reach the minibus in World 2 a little bit ago and I'm stronger now. So I think next episode you might, no promises, but you might see a, a fully successful World 2 Coliseum run. And I like World 2 Coliseum as I told you in the past because it gives you gold and sometimes even platinum. So I'm going to kill this with about a minute and something left. And we're done. These flowers... Uh, these flowers are necessary for a quest. Clear World 1 Coliseum. That's a task, but sometimes I have the task to clear World 2 Coliseum. I still can't do it. Well, I don't have a proof I can do it yet. Here I could have probably cut this part, but I'm going to show you each chest, what I get. Nothing spectacular, this is World 1. But still, copper and you always need it, so it's fine. Okay, here you don't hear any sound because I'm watching Lava's stream. And I'm doing world hopping, trying to find him. I want to find him to get the achievement. Because, you know, in the first episode called No Trampoline, here's the achievement. I was really happy about that because in the first episode called No Trampoline, as soon as the video starts right after the tutorial, I meet him. But I couldn't get the achievement retroactively. Look at that. 490 gems for this stream. Very, very nice. Very generous of him. So yeah, I was really happy to get that. Okay, here, it took me a while to open this portal. I had to kill a lot of rats. Now they're dead and <laughs> look at that quest. Um, some people call it a troll quest or whatever. This is going to take so long to finish. Okay. That's the second World 1 minibus. And once I beat him, I'm gonna get an achievement. So let's look at the fight. I'm gonna fast forward it too, but you can tell that in a second, bang, he hits me really hard, right? So I decided to, I knew I was gonna beat him, but I decided just to semi-kite him and take my time to make sure that my uh, food Cool down, resets, make sure I don't get hit. I don't want to stay close to him too much, but he's not very difficult uh, so long as I have enough, I guess, accuracy and DPS. I didn't have to cheese him as much as I found in the episode called Opening World 3, a fight that took me 25 minutes. Now I kill him much faster, and in fact, I'll try to kill him. I think I need to kill him seven times because I want to start making f gear. I need defense. My problem right now, I have difficulty in World 3 because my defense is way, way, way too low. So I'm going to look at Alchemy, Shrines, f gear. Here's the achievement. f gear or anything else that can give me defense. I need defense on this character to be able to move ahead in World 3. That's why you don't see much of World 3 so far. Here we're gonna make our wizard. Reason why I want that is because of worshipping. This is a mechanic I do not understand yet, but eventually we'll take a look at it, but I gotta look at one thing at a time. I already had watched the wizard guide, which is in the description below. So I had an idea on how to 
distribute the points. Once again, I don't have enough points to do everything they say, so I kind of do my own thing, following the guide in a general way. And here I'm going to hesitate a bit. You're going to see a transition. That's because I went back to the guide and that's not the one I need to get. It's this one, Mana is Life. Uh, I'm going to continue spending points. After that, I'm going to attribute every single ability to my character. And by the way, the wizard is doing really well. Uh, only play it at AFK. I came to the realization that the only character that I like playing active is the Barbarian. I'm not really certain why, but I do enjoy playing the Barbarian manually. All other characters I only play AFK. Here I was hesitating, looking at uh, should I get Warship stuff, but I didn't understand Warship, so why would I do that? Makes no sense, so I decided to put it on Paperwork, Great, Upgrade, and now we're gonna put on the bar are four new abilities and that's going to be a quite good character once again. So this is the guild. 20 people, level 16. There's a bunch of brand new players you see, level 1, level 8. Everybody is welcome. We should promote this guy because he's uh, got bronze level GP. And as you can see there's four people with crowns, that's because they were there at the very beginning, they're the most uh, productive and they're very active on Discord and I won't give more crowns than this for a very very long time. Not that rank matters all that much in this guild. These are the bonuses. By the way, I reached level 7 in the Eidolon chat after all. It took forever, a lot of chit chat, a lot of uh, small talk on the chat. but. I made it so now I can advertise the guild in guild advertisement on the Eidolon Discord. So once again, you will see your name in my videos though, but if you don't mind that, it would be a pleasure to have you in the guild and all you have to do is just play the game, there's no special requirement until we're completely full, then I might raise the bar, but we're really far from that. And here one last thing I want to show you is these two characters have the Enforce Slasher. And as you can see, 18 hours of AFK. I didn't have time to play today. So that's it. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please hit thumbs up and leave a comment below. If you want to support this channel, you can subscribe and hit the notification bell to make sure you don't miss future videos. Thank you for watching and see you next time.